Hello everybody, welcome to my course, learn 200 words starting with the letter A to Z. Course Overview This course is meant for students planning to appear for the TOEFL, IELTS, SAT, GRE exams or anyone who wishes to improve the English vocabulary in the next three months. A little bit about me, my name is Salma, I teach spoken English and business communications. I love to travel, read books and grow my own food. You could write to me on the link provided above with your comments, suggestions and feedback. I would love to hear from you all. Lesson Plan These lessons will deal with words starting with the letter A to Z. Each lesson will cover 20 words. So from lesson 1 to 10 in the letter G, you will build 200 words to your vocabulary pyramid. By the time you reach the letter Z, you will be richer by 5,200 words. And not to mention the words you already know. Why is learning vocabulary important? Without sufficient understanding of words, students cannot understand others or express their own ideas. How does this benefit you? The more vocabulary words you know, the better you're able to comprehend. By comprehend, I mean it is to understand. Understand what others are telling you and what you will be able to convey to them with the vocabulary you learn ahead. Three steps to learn it. Read, define, use in a sentence. When I say read, pay attention to the spelling and the pronunciation. Define to the meaning and its usage. When I say use it in a sentence, I will be giving a sentence for every word. But I'm sure you'll be able to string words to make your own sentences, which may be better. Let's begin. Words starting with the letter G, 21 to 40. Lesson 2, letter G. First word, galvanize, which means to cause someone to suddenly take action. In a sentence, it'll read, the urgency of his voice galvanized them into action. Galvanize is a verb. Next, gamble, verb, which means play games of chance for money or bet. So in a sentence, it'll read, he gambles on football. Gamble is a noun, which means run or jump about playfully. So in a sentence, it'll read, the mayor gambled towards Constance. Next, gamester noun, which means a person who habitually plays games for money. So in a sentence, it'll read, the gamester never plays the card the opponent expects. Gamut is a noun, which means the whole range of things that can be included in something. In a sentence, it'll read, the whole gamut of human emotion. Next, garnish is a verb which means to decorate or embellish especially food. In a sentence it will read, garnish each serving with a dollop of sour cream. Garrison noun, which means a group of troops stationed in a fortress or town to defend it. So in a sentence it will read, the entire garrison was mustered on the parade ground. Garrot is a verb which means to execute by strangling. In a sentence, it'll read, he had been garroted with piano wire. Gaseous is an adjective, which means existing in the state of a gas. In a sentence, it'll read, gaseous emissions from motor vehicles is toxic. Gastric is an adjective, which means is a digestive fluid formed in the stomach. So in a sentence, it'll read, in hypnosis, we know, you can alter things like gastric acid secretions, heart rate, blood pressure and skin conductance, Spiegel said. Gastritis is a noun which means inflammation of the stomach. In a sentence it will read, gastritis is inflammation of the lining of the stomach. It may occur as a short episode or maybe of a long duration. Gastronomy is a noun which means the art of preparing and serving appetizing food. In a sentence it will read, It was American gastronomy at
at its best. Gendarme is a noun which means in France a uniformed and armed police officer. In a sentence it will read, he was hauled off by a gendarme to the police station. Next, genealogy noun which means a list in the order of succession of ancestors and their descendants. In a sentence it will read, the genealogies of the kings of Mercia is impressive. Geneal genealogist is a noun which means a tracer of pedigrees. In a sentence it will read, many geneal genealogists are surprised to find that some of the most basic information is not on the internet. Generality is a noun which means a statement having general rather than specific validity. In a sentence it will read, he confined his remarks to generalities. Generalized verb, which means make a general or broad statement. In a sentence it will read, it is not easy to generalize about the poor. Generally, adverb, which means in most cases, usually. In a sentence it will read, the term of a lease, lease is generally 99 years. Generate is a verb, which means to produce or create. So in a sentence it will read, there are changes which are likely to generate controversy. Generic is an adjective which means characteristic of or relating to a class or group of things not specific. So in a sentence it will read, Chevre is a generic term for all goat's milk cheese. Before we end, let's explore the humorous, subtle and often confusing side of the English language. So, there is a saying which goes, why do we have noses that run and feet that smell? Noses normally do not run and feet is what runs. Noses are used to smell. But when we have a cold, we say, I have a runny nose. And when you're wearing socks and shoes for a long time and you have, there is a lot of sweat, you'll say, oh, you've got smelly feet. So... We have a strange sentence which makes absolute sense which says why do we have noses that run and feet that smell. The author is unknown. Thank you for watching. If you like this lesson please rate, review and share this with your friends. Bye for now.